I first heard about Bonvo when I was in New Zealand and uh, I was looking for a place to develop my project, uh, the market garden, uh, fully organic and I take my inspiration from permaculture movement. So uh, my, my project uh, when I first arrived in Bonvo was to develop this farm that would uh, nourish uh, people around in a very healthy way but also for me it's a life project so um, it's a project for me to develop my um, my happiness, <laughs> uh, my way of being in this world, to um, to develop uh, kind of a simplicity of mind and simplicity of life in life, um, while doing something that is so essential because it's food and that's maybe one one of the main things we need but um, it also goes with a very uh, contemplative approach so I was looking for that and then um, the WCCM invited me to develop this project in the, within the Abbey uh, but in a, an independent way which is very generous so I this is my own business I will make my income out of it um, but we have a very good uh, collaboration with the Abbey and um, it's it's absolutely amazing because um, now I have crops, I have vegetables growing, and I can I start selling my vegetables to the market. And uh, it's just incredible because indeed I work a lot, but it's really the plants <laughs> they do the job. I just put them in the soil, I take care of them, and then they just develop. And that's the beauty of life, really. And to, to to see that it's working, and it's working in a way. I'm not using tractors. I'm not using. Uh, I don't turn the soil over or uh, in, a, in a very destructive way, destructive way. So um, when we are gentle with life, I think it just works. We don't need to be in control of everything as we see too often um, in different areas. Mm.